Hey, it's Chris. I have a ring search today. I'm in uh, White Rock, and this is an unusual area. I've got to walk down a bunch of stairs uh, across a railroad track to get where these people were and uh, where she had lost her ring. We'll hear the story how she lost it. I know she's pretty beat up. Her feet are all cut up, and she could barely put her feet in her own shoes. She had to borrow somebody's shoes that are bigger so she can come and show me the area. Uh, I felt comfortable and confident I could have found it without her. But uh, she wants to be here, and it does help a lot when they can show you what they can remember. I know there's a bit of alcohol involved in this, so hopefully you can find it. Thank you, everybody, for watching. Okay, I'm here with Paulina. Hey, Paulina, how you doing? Hey, Chris, I'm doing okay. I'm gonna I'm gonna zoom down to your your legs here. Oh, oh my God, eh? Yeah, you should see my feet. They're oh, way worse. Jeez, Louise, it, just, it goes up. Want to tell <laughs> us what happened? Um. Well, I had a very eventful night. So that's kind of what happened. Decided to go for a skinny dip at about 3 a.m. Yeah. And as you can see, this is the result. Oh, geez, that looks yeah, painful. Uh, it was fun. <laughs> <laughs> you had a nice night. It was a nice moon. It was beautiful. I don't think I've ever seen anything like it. Uh, it was salmon colored, just glowing. It was incredible. Beautiful. So definitely worth it. Uh, I would do it again. Tell us the end result of the bad news bad news well apart from the damage that you can see uh, I lost one of my favorite rings that I had actually lost previously and had remade and shipped from Israel as a uh, Christmas gift to myself this past December so losing it a second time uh, kind of silly but I I don't know what well the first do. time it doesn't sound like you really lost it it was taken from my office there you go so yeah. really not a loss that was a that was a yeah. that was a steal but um you're pretty confident as much drinking as you did that you can absolutely you, you, you felt it come off eh? absolutely yeah i remember it slipping off i remember kind of where i was i was leaning against a rock okay um and i remember it coming off thinking oh i should look for that and then i got distracted with something yeah and it was too dark anyways and sure you, you would never yeah. have found it not amongst yeah. the rocks and this is where it is you guys we're going way down to the water's edge and it'll take me half a day to get back up these stairs Cool, let's go find it for you. Not just you. <laughs> Can you show me what you were doing, like uh, where you think you went? Uh, from where here? I think it went? Where um, you went, like where what I direction went. when you left the fire pit? So we were sitting right here, yeah. and I would have walked around this log here and probably gone straight out here. Okay. Or even this way where the rocks are a bit smaller. So okay. So I tried to avoid all the big boulders. Now you see where the, where the, the uh, sand is coming yeah. open there. Yeah. You don't think you were farther than that, do you? I don't think so, no, because I don't recall feeling seaweed. It well, that means... because I passed the seaweed. <laughs> yeah, this is a thing. You did have a few drinks, right? I did, yeah. So, we'll have to go... You, you say you might be going that way, but you remember that pointy pyramid rock over there. Yes, I do. So, I do. where would you like me to search? Between the big rock and the pyramid? I would actually begin... Okay. Over to that next log over there. Over that, that one. First one. Oh, okay. The one over there. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Well, that's where I'll start then. Cool. Thanks. What a great beautiful day you guys there's where uh, my their fire was and guess what you're never gonna believe this it is such a needle in a haystack she's way out there you can see her walking has no idea that I just got a signal in between here is her ring check it out what a beautiful ring oh my god I am so so happy to have found this for her she's the young lady is uh, down about 100 yards away. I don't know what she's doing, if she's just looking around, but I'll show her where I found this beautiful ring. And uh, I left my metal detector there. I'm gonna tell her my batteries have died, that I gotta go back up to the car. Then I'll ask her a few questions on top of this. Is, eh? This is a, a tough search. My batteries died, so I gotta make the trek up. Any other ideas you can think of, like, no, I mean, like, I wandered out here to see if I could find any of my other stuff in case it blown it off. Could you find it? No, not yet. But I was going to go back up um, closer to the, the tracks. Yeah. Um, I feel like it's going to be closer to shore. <laughs> <laughs>
does that feel? Holy, where did you find it? I left my equipment over there to show you. Where did you find it? You're going to have to come it? have a look. How does that feel? I feel like it's not real. <laughs> Unbelievable. Wow. That took us, uh, it's 1.30. Um, that took a couple of hours. A couple hours, not bad, eh? <laughs> Considering how big this was. Uh, the person who said you'll never find it, let it go. You can show her a picture of it. Where did you find it? How we'll, did we'll you go find have it? A look. You have to show me. Thank yeah. you so much. You're so welcome. I can't believe this is it. Yeah, I'm sure it is. I can't imagine two of them definitely, being out there. No, it's definitely my ring. Well, I mean, there is a second one floating around there somewhere. Yeah. Wow. There it is. There it is. Awesome. <laughs> so happy to find it for you. I'm so happy. Wow. Thank you so much. You know, I got to tell you, have a look, you guys. This is what we had to work in. And now um, you said you had a story. This ring has a story. It kind of does. It's a very short story. Um, but I had been looking for a moonstone ring for a very long time, for a few years. It had been uh, just because I'm very much into stones. And as you said about your wife, also healing properties and this sort of thing. Yes. And I just couldn't find the one. Nothing really spoke to me. And um, it was when I had stopped looking. I think it had been about two years. I had stopped looking that I had gone to Winners and was just kind of browsing um, their jewelry section. Yeah. And I saw this thing and I was like, this is it, this is the one. And I asked to try it on and um, the clerk gave it to me and I put it on and it fit perfectly. And she's like, we've had that ring here for a few weeks. Hundreds of people have tried it on. It hasn't fit a single person who tried to put it on. You're the one. And I Cinderella. Said, Cinderella, so I called it the Cinderella ring. Oh, you did, eh? That's I the did. first thing I thought of, right I there. Did. It's the Cinderella ring. Hey guys, that was a fun search, but a difficult one. Uh, these searches aren't easy when uh, you got rocks that size, and when people have been drinking, they're not 100% sure where they lost it. I was able to get lucky today. It was two hours, and I found that ring, and it's back where it belongs. A uh, lovely lady, and uh, amazing stories these rings have. I'm so so honored to find it for her and continue that story. Thank you everybody for watching. Until the next search, take care.